Special Memory Zoo made national headlines in 2015 after their inspection by the USDA. But what many of you don't know is their connection between Joe Exotic and GW Zoo in Wynwood, Oklahoma, the zoo featured in the Netflix documentary Tiger King. If you took them, just bring them back. I mean, the, our main concern is the animals. We just want them to be healthy. We want them back where they belong. According to an interview with the Outagamie County Sheriff's Office, Gretchen Crow was the zoo's longtime keeper and was responsible for the day to day operations. One worker also questioned the zoo's safety for employees. I felt like we weren't given, I guess, proper. Like safety equipment, working with some of the monkeys. In a USDA inspection in February of 2016, it showed that an employee was bitten on her hand by a black bear and required stitches. The zookeeper stated that they have training procedures in place for all employees, and this employee did receive the training. However, there is no documentation to verify that adequate training has been provided to the employee. For the lack of documentation to evidence employee training, the zoo was given a month to correct the issue by. Bethany, Haley, Rachel, and Amy say that they wanted to report poor conditions, but struggled with wanting to keep their jobs and help save the animals. You almost feel this guilt because you feel like you have to stay there because if you don't, then you feel like animals aren't getting some of the care that they would want or that they should have. I don't like to admit that I was there during a time where it wasn't being run properly because we, we all did care. All the zookeepers cared very, very much. Do I report them, lose my job, do I quit, or do I just keep coming every day because at least when I'm here, I can make sure that they have food and water every day. The zoo, however, did clean up its act. During an inspection in May of 2018, it states that no non-compliant items were identified during this inspection. In addition, there were concerns over some zoo acquisitions. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Joe Exotic, and this is Sarge. After I had quit, um, Special Memory Zoo purchased three lion cubs from GW Zoo, the zoo featured in Tiger King. A certificate of veterinary inspection from the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food and Forestry shows that Special Memory Zoo acquired two two-week-old lion cubs from Joe Exotic with GW Zoo in Wynwood, Oklahoma in January of 2017. The zoo featured in the hit Netflix documentary, Tiger King. They got animals from him. He, they had at least two lions from him. Special Memories purchased another two-week-old lion cub from Exotic in April of 2017. The USDA states that newborn and infant non-domestic cats four weeks of age or younger have special handling and husbandry needs and should be housed with their mother for as long as possible after birth to promote good health. Tony Elizusen is with the Animal Legal Defense Fund. We're an organization that was formed by lawyers in the 1970s uh, with a mission to advance the legal interest of animals through the legal system. The group started investigating special memories in 2015 and sent a notice of intent to sue the zoo in September of 2019. We've also sued both of the owners, uh, Gene and Donna Wheeler, and the zoo manager, Gretchen Crow, who our understanding is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the zoo. We're suing them for violating the Endangered Species Act with regard to all the endangered animals, such as tigers, lions, gray wolves, lemurs, and then as a public nuisance under Wisconsin state law, based on violations of animal cruelty laws and captive wildlife laws in Wisconsin. The zoo has denied all of the ALDF allegations and recently filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit. In addition, Special Memory Zoo shut down after the 2019 season. A statement from the ALDF states that it had offered to rehome all the animals free of charge. The owner said that they would take care of it themselves. Some of those animals are housed at an off-site barn during the winter season. Court documents show that on March 18th of this year, Special Memories submitted a letter to the court that due to Mr. Wheeler's health complications and this lawsuit and the recognition that the ALDF will only continue to pursue claims against the zoo, even if they prevail in this action, the Wheelers made the difficult decision to rehome its animals. It also stated that the only endangered or threatened animal in Special Memories Zoo LLC's possession is the Canadian lynx, which they intend to rehome. Other standard farm animals were still in their possession. We did reach out to Special Memory Zoo and its owners, Gene and Donna Wheeler, as well as zookeeper Gretchen Crow multiple times. All three did not return our calls.